Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while most women are aware that family history plays a large part in whether or not a woman will develop breast cancer, there are other factors as well. Grammy Award winning artist and breast cancer survivor Cheryl Crow is lending her voice to help educate women on why they need to make breast cancer screening a priority. She joins us today along with Dr. DeCarla Albright. Thank you both so much for being with us. Cheryl, you were diagnosed with breast cancer in 2006. As a breast cancer survivor, how has your life changed? Well, uh, it's changed in every way. I mean, really, once you're diagnosed with something that is so life-threatening, like breast cancer, you kind of redefine your life. Um, I don't think about it anymore, except that I am very diligent about getting my mammograms, and there is a moment in there while I'm waiting for the result that I have a little panic. But I am a true testament to early detection, and that's really my message, and that is that li early detection saves lives. Until we have a cure, um, it, it's the difference, can mean the difference in uh, minimal treatment or something much more challenging. And we see every day that technology is changing and our information is so much more uh, um, all inclusive than it was when I was diagnosed. In fact, I was diagnosed on a conventional 2D uh, mammography screening and now we have 3D, which is um, better for early detection as well as false positives. So, and we're talking about dense breasts, which is what I have, and how that can really up the statistic of those who are diagnosed with breast cancer. Right, and speaking of Dr. Albright, what should women know about dense breasts and screening? Well, um, half of women, 40 to 74, actually have uh, dense breasts, and we don't have any signs of, or symptoms of that. The only way you're gonna know is to make sure that you screen with a mammogram and pretty much your breasts are made up of fatty tissue, fibrous and glandular tissue. And the more fibrous and glandular tissue you have, the denser your breasts are. And that density shows up as white on the, on the mammogram. But unfortunately, so does cancer. So that density can make it more difficult to detect a breast cancer, which is why it's critically important that women are aware of their density so they can make sure that they're screening appropriately. And I definitely recommend that 3D mammography is the technology that should be used for screening. It is best in women of all breast densities, but definitely can de decrease a false positive for a denser breast woman and also lead to earlier detection. And one more time, you don't even know if you have dense breasts unless you get screened, correct? That's absolutely correct. Okay, all right, because I'm sure a lot of women are wondering, does it have to do with the size of my breasts or can I tell myself? But Cheryl, what do you hope that women will learn from your experience? Well, I was diagnosed, I was very healthy. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with just a routine 2D um, mammography and now we do know so much more and there is so much information on our website. I wanna encourage every woman to go to genius3dnearme.com and uh, read the information that's on there, put in your zip code, find the closest 3D mammography machine. Um, I also wanna encourage women to not put this aside, it is, something that we dread, we're very busy, uh, we don't want to know the outcome, we have no family history, all those excuses that we make for not getting a mammogram, be courageous and go and get your mammogram starting at age 40. Awesome, thank you both so much for talking with us today. This is indeed a very important topic. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.